Hi everyone, it's Dr. Jeff from K-Hairs Chiropractic and Wellness Center. Today I want to share a short little video on how chiropractic is helping your whole body function better. Now I've had a couple people ask me to do this video because I've kind of quickly explained to them in the office about what I learned in my last conference um, in San Diego. But the new research right now is looking at the neuroscience and is starting to find out how the brain is being impacted by the adjustment. So the fundamental part of how the adjustment helps your whole body to heal better is really coming down to help the balance in the stress response. So because of stress in your life, like physical stress, like sitting all the time, um, standing all the time, uh, playing sports, having impact sports, falling down, slipping, um, anything you've done in your past life that's really been a physical stress on your body, including not doing anything at all, so not moving like a sedentary lifestyle. There's also gonna be emotional stress. So emotional stress is going to be everything from home life, work life, um, just stress of life. There's every, everyone has emotional stress. And it's important to remember too, when you think of emotional stress, emotional stress affects our kids just as much as it affects us. Their stress might be very different, so they might be worried about fitting in or who their friends are, or what their friends said about them, or performing in school or meeting parents' expectations, but it's still just the same to their nervous system that it is to ours. And then the third stress is going to be a uh, toxic stress, so chemical stress. So really anything that goes into your body that's not being by nature. So anything like processed foods, um, environmental pollutions, um, medications, anything that goes into your body that's a chemical composition that causes stress on your nervous system. So what these three stressors do to your nervous system is it pushes your nervous system into that fight-flight response. So the fight-flight system is the primitive part of our nervous system that was designed primarily to help us to survive. So it's all about survival and protection. So it was really meant for you to be able to run or to be able to fight. So for instance, it's an example of a deer. So in a deer grazing in an open field is always aware of its environment. But if a coyote sneaks up on the deer, the deer automatically will go into a fight flight, which the deer will usually run, but it, the body's gonna do everything it can to be able to help that deer to survive to get away. But the difference is with the deer, as soon as the deer gets away from the danger, like the coyote and it survives, its nervous system automatically resets. The hard thing for us in our world today is that our little stimulus between that physical, emotional, and chemical stressors, they're hitting us every day all the time. So we're constantly being bombarded by the stress response, which then causes more problems for us. And it tends to get us stuck in that fight flight response. So when I was at the conference, the one thing that your primitive nervous system, your primitive nervous system, that fight flight system does, is that when you go into fight flight, your body's preparing your body to fight or to run. So one of the things it does is it activates all the long muscle groups. So think of like your biceps and your quads and your hamstrings, all the big muscles that are gonna be necessary for you either to fight or to run. Now in the process though, it inhibits the small muscles in the body. Now specifically, it actually inhibits the small muscles along the spine. So when you inhibit the small muscles along the spine, all of a sudden the spine doesn't have that muscular protection anymore, so it becomes very easy for the spine to misalign. So this is why people that are under more stress state end up having more back problems. And that's because your body misaligns more easily because you're always in that tense state where your muscles are always contracted. Now, what this conference was talking about is that it was starting to impact about how the adjustment affects the part of the brain. So the way that it was explained is that if you think of your brain, you have two parts of your brain. So you've got the prefrontal cortex. So that's gonna be the front of your brain, which is our higher brain consciousness centers. So this is the part about us as humans that lets us to think creatively, imaginatively, um, do higher intelligence things. So this is how we evolved as a species to be in that higher intelligence factor. Now, the second part of your brain is what's called the limbic brain. So the limbic brain is your emotional brain. That's your primitive brain or that reptilian brain. That's that brain that all just is all about survival. So protection and survival, that fight flight response. So when you think about your brain, there's two parts. So if you think about your hand, I want you to think about that your fingers are gonna be like your prefrontal cortex. So this is your higher brain functioning center and your thumb is the limbic brain. So the limbic brain is this emotional control center. Now the brain should operate with the prefrontal cortex covering the limbic brain. So when it does this, the limbic brain is, being, is there still, but the prefrontal cortex is able to control it. So it takes over, it doesn't let the body be stuck in fight flight. However, due to stressors in our life, what happens is when your body gets stressed, this pops our brain, our prefrontal cortex off the limbic system, and now our body is completely in control by the limbic system, which means it only cares about function and survival. So protection and survival. 
So this is gonna be anything from, it doesn't care about your digestive system, so then all of a sudden people get more heartburn or bloating. It doesn't care about you sleeping because it's worried something's going to attack and get you, so it doesn't let you sleep. It doesn't allow, your cardiovascular system's gonna be changed because your blood pressure's gonna be increased and everything that's gonna be essential for you to fight or to flight. It's going to change your imaginative creative thinking because that happens with these fingers. If these are not activated, then we don't not as imaginative, we're not as creative. So all these systems get impacted by the way that the brain's off function. Now the research that was done was found out that when you correct the spine's alignment, so you improve the posture, the adjustment showed that it activated the prefrontal cortex. So the adjustment allowed the brain to be able to start to be able to control the limbic brain again so that your body was able then to go back into those higher brain functions like digestive and cardiovascular system, the hormone system, endocrine, reproductive systems, all those things that we essentially need to function. Now the issue is, is that in time, stress constantly bombards our body again and the prefrontal cortex pops off. So this is also the case where it's very important for chiropractic care to be part of your lifestyle because there's always gonna be stress bombarding you Periodic adjustments help to continue to make sure your prefrontal cortex is activating and your body's getting out of that fight flight state. So these are the, some of the things that we measure when you looked at your heart rate variability scans. That's starting to look at how your balance of that sympathetic and, and sympathetic and parasympathetic responses or that fight flight system or that heal growth and repair. So this is just a quick little explanation of looking at it, but this is how people in our office get so many different results. It's not that us as a chiropractor is doing some magical healing, but it's just letting that prefrontal cortex start to function again. And by doing that, it allows your brain start to function better. And if your brain functions better and your brain health is better, it allows your whole body to function better. And that's when we start to see those amazing results because your body starts to engage in that healing process and do what it's supposed to do again. So I hope this explanation kind of fills in some of those gaps where I've tried to talk to people in between visits for a quite short little period of time. If you have any questions, leave them below. And otherwise, until next time, I'm Dr. Jeff.